in the world was an onion. No, this isn't primal scream. It's primal singing, the latest form of therapy to hit California. It was developed by lay psychologist and banker Warren Lyons. How many of us spend our lives trying to get our relationship with money clear? So we have it. How many of us, you know, spend our lives trying to get that great sexual relationship? Warren feels money and romance come to those who are emotionally open and comfortable with their own identity. How many people wouldn't be caught dead singing? He says getting up in front of a group to sing, whether musical or not, is the quickest way to break down the emotional barriers which inhibit most of us. I can't do that, I'll be a fool. Well, singing is an idiotic thing to do. So what? It's also a lot of fun and a lot of joy. So get up and do it, you know? I had a, I had a man in a workshop once who was the angriest person I ever saw in my whole life. And the song I assigned him was Zippity Doo Dah. He sang it, and he was clearly very, very angry. So I said to him, sing it angry. Well, this is what he did. Zippity Doo Dah, Zippity Terrible Day! My, oh my, this is the worst day of my life! Well, everybody started to laugh. He found it with the bluebird, wrung its neck, and stomped on it. Well, we screamed with laughter, and so did he. He suddenly had a chance to recognize his anger and let some of it out. The trick is for us to give ourselves permission to express ourselves in all of our lives. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. <laughs> One of the people expressing themselves tonight is Steve Greshler, a theatrical agent. This love is fine. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Tell me I'm crazy, maybe I know. Another is Kathy Kleinschmidt, an interior decorator and designer. And that man of mine. One this young lady, Carol Judd, is also a designer. Ah, the target and bam! One shot, one gunshot, and bam! This workshop has uh, it, it's changed my life. It's, it goes way beyond singing. It gets into my personal relationships with people and, and my relationship to myself. I've gotten willing to sing uh, on sidewalks and elevators everywhere I go. But, you know, the, the, the thought that I used to carry was that it would be uh, offensive or that uh, I would be embarrassed by it. There's still some embarrassment and, and there's still sometimes there are people who become offended, but uh, I got that in me and it's got to come out. time I got up to sing, I cried. I just started crying because I, I was sad that I was not letting that love and that happiness out of me. I mean, when, you, when you've got something to give and you're holding it back, it makes you sick. It's a very healthy way to keep a positive outlook on life. And it's been easier to get through my days um, working. I, I keep, keep a song, you know, in, on the top of my head. And if things start to drag, if I'm driving around, I just start singing. Can't help loving that man of mine. <laughs> I know that sounds ridiculous. <laughs> but it's true. It really is true. When I got home from a seminar I'd attended on a Saturday, uh, my house had been robbed and all my furniture was gone. And I was angry and upset and I had withheld all the communication about it. I didn't even cry for two days. What can I do? I felt real helpless and not willing to let it go. And through this song, I got to shout it out. Hey, world, here I am! I'm not going to let this happen to me again. I'm not going to be done in again. OK, so what were some of the feelings you had during that time? Shout it out. Paul, what was it? Freedom. Freedom, terrific. Colette. Love. Love, wonderful. Joan. Excitement. Excitement. Paulette. Following the singing, the people talk about what they felt while doing it. One of the people felt I should get up and do it. Son of a gun will have big fun on the bio. When I was finished, Warren asked me to tell the group the deepest feelings I had while singing. Wow. I felt uh, all alone because I was the only one on key. You know? <laughs> a lot of 
McNausen for skipping on key. <laughs> Each session closes with a group sing-along. It costs $200 for three weeks of these therapy sessions. After that, Warren feels anyone who has gotten up to perform here should be emotionally open enough to make contact with others on the outside. <laughs>